hello hello everybody this is an awesome day awesome moment amazing happy exciting thing and also very sad <laughs> it's the last the last episode of an idiot abroad so i am it's the oh, a super weird mixture of like extremely excited because i know it's gonna be awesome and like saddened and, and just kind of bummed out because I know when this is over it's just that's it I know I have the deleted scenes which I'm gonna watch but uh -huh. <laughs> and yes um the moaning of life and all that that I know but copyright and I just it's still this show and this is, has been easy easy my favorite show <laughs> in a long time absolutely just had too much fun with it so whatever let's just you know off with the sadness and go through the happiness i didn't did i i didn't wait previously on an idiot abroad but we already saw Dick this, Whittington but had a cat with him and you went why take a cat take a little mate so just think you're gonna be a hindrance it's your idea to come to the party, cat. I take love a little money. Just think you're going to be a hindrance. It's your idea to come to the party. <laughs> you go in there. This is good. <laughs> Brilliant, Warren. Bring him over, he said. Good to have some company. One, two. One, two. <laughs> There's no way that I'm having it that Warwick's a better dancer than me. No way. Seems a little worried. No way. Bring him over, he said. Good to have some company. <laughs> One, two. One, two. There's no way that I'm having it that Warwick's a better dancer than me. No way. <laughs> Seems what Warwick wants, Warwick gets. <laughs> oh! I never had a kite. Let me down. What you're going to see now, you'll never get the chance to see again. The Spider Sisters. I'm just going to wait outside, let Carl go and ask his questions. Do you have the main or do you have the pudding? I don't know why you're so fascinated. Because it is something different. I've done a lot for him now. Let me have a bit of me time. Oh, and he drove them. Right, okay. Well, drove. Walked them? Escorted them? I don't know. Space. I've come to see them because they're different. That's all it is. It's not to poke fun. It's because they're different. People out there are coming in here to see new things. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. On this topic, on this topic, which is a very interesting topic, the, the, the different, right? Um... I don't know if you guys have ever seen, there's a video that went quite viral and it's, it still kind of pops up on my feed every once in a while. <sighs> a tribe I don't remember where from. Um, we're seeing a white man for the first time and it's really cool, like the reaction they had because the guy was so, it was like a pale guy too, so different from them they they were like scared to touch him and stuff they would touch him and they i don't know if they would think he was cold or like more of a ghost type of situation they'd go through him or what but they were like very nervous to kind of just like interact with the guy because they had no idea what he was and i mean human human but just the, the the skin color was enough of of a difference for them something that they never seen that they were like super fascinated by it so I mean, that the difference really, I guess, it just, it's part of human nature. Carl has a weird obsession with it, but I, I hope you see my point. Like, it's a thing. It's, if you've never seen something before, you're gonna, like, imagine going to wherever, the beach, the forest, or whatever, and you see an animal you've never seen before in a book, in a movie, in nothing, no encyclopedia, no nothing, and it's just there. Like, whatever the hell the animal Carl created was, the owl head and the slug body, or whatever. imagine actually seeing that, you're gonna be freaking fascinated, like, whoa, what is that, you know? <laughs> What was he saying? Humans like evolved or whatever to be able to say what is that? So anyway, look at the crowd Warwick got. Uh, It'd be good if Warwick was willing to sit on there and raise some more money. I'll sit there, white person, bold. They've never seen that before. They've never seen a little man before. Yeah, would, would it make any? I mean, would it make any difference for them money-wise 
if me and Warwick was to sit on the stage as well. I absolutely love that he included himself as something different in his words. Oh, this is good. the sweetest. Okay, let's have a word with Warwick. <laughs> oh, great. It's I didn't agree to that. I'm not just going to go and stand there and, and have people look. Do you know what I mean? Well, what's the, what's the point? What's the point? That is a very good question. Oh, what are you doing? Just when I think you've said the weirdest, stupidest thing ever, you top it. I think it's weird that we're putting ourselves on this side. That's what's making this horrible. If we just all sat there together, it's not a problem. You sit there, I'll sit behind you, people come in, I'll give you a sense of party. You do what you want to do, what you need to obviously right. get out okay. of your system. You do that and I'll, I'll, I'll go outside and wait. I don't, I, I don't understand his priorities. He's happy to dress up as leprechauns and bears and stuff, but he won't sit on a stage, which he likes, and he won't let me comb his hair. Everything we've been through together. Comb his hair? Why do you have to comb his hair? Say so they'll come to see Warwick. Why? Why Warwick, not me? I can't see any merit in me doing it. If I had something to do, something to give here, then then so be it. It's a performance, but it isn't. Me just sitting there, it's not. I'm not bringing anything to the table here, am I? For me. <laughs> is Carl legit being offended right now? <laughs> oh my goodness. The way the way he understands the world is just Ah, uh, something else. Um round head. Oh. Round. <laughs> ah, not good enough. Come on. <laughs> Oh, they broke his heart. What do you look like, Carl? I need you. You're my partner. But what are we doing, then? I will comb your hair. I'll massage you. Are you all right? Yes. Are you all right? Ben Fogel wouldn't have left James Cracknell. Who and Cannon who? Cannon and Ball. Always did stuff together. The Chuckle Brothers. They want to work with one Chuckle. You're standing there getting an eyeful for free. Warwick, just get on the fucking stage. Shout his name. Warwick. 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 This is ridiculous. Yes. You bastard. <laughs> you bastard. He didn't want to. Though. I'm going to bloody kill you. You should. Warwick. At least he gets a massage. Okay? No? Not really. I think I'm having some sort of weird dream at the minute. Yeah, thank you. People laugh. Thank you. What? This is so weird. <laughs> all right, yeah, all yeah, right. Go on then, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Give it a little <laughs> <laughs> They don't even use a brush or a comb for him. This is so bizarre. He shouldn't have pushed Warwick to do that. Not cool. Peer pressure is not cool. Thank you, ladies, Kids. very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Easy. It's one bit of fun. That's all it was. Hi, Warwick. Um, you should be trying. Why on earth did the last episode, it was just like five more minutes, unless they had to do it for a time, but weird that the last one ended there and then they included that here, and now they're going to try it. <laughs> weird, okay, and, uh, whatever, right time now, thing. The final leg of the journey. Hopefully you and Carl <laughs> have bonded a bit after all your time together on the road. I've uh, booked you in on a scenic river cruise up the Yangtze. Just imagine all the boats loaded up with precious cargo in Marco Polo Bay. You should love it. All right, then. Enjoy. You, 
that you are never going to see. What's precious cargo? Because to me, precious cargo is a horrible thing. Um, this is going to sound weird, but hey. <laughs> Look who you're dealing with. Um, I follow, I can't remember his name. I actually don't pay attention to the names of anybody that I follow because I just recognize the faces. So, but I follow this guy on Instagram. I used to follow him on TikTok when I use TikTok. But it's a guy that is an autopsy technician. Weird, I told you. And um, he actually just does informative videos. He doesn't show anything or, or nothing. It's not... You know, there's no visual issues with that. But people ask him questions, like legit questions. When I die, does, you know, this happen? Or, or when you do an autopsy? Just like legit questions to learn. And the guy answers everything. It's really awesome. And um, there was times when they were asking about... Uh, <laughs> this got dark. I hate when things get dark, but it just kind of popped to mind. and Because he said precious cargo. Anyway, um, they were asking about... children and um, he said that that's what he called precious cargo that was to him that was the term for when a child was on his table and um, that just kind of stuck with me that term for that so what on earth is precious cargo in a container was it like gold or money or I like I don't something ain't computing with me but whatever Anyway, I don't have his name right now, but if you're interested, you can look up that guy. He's really cool and really informative, and he's really sweet, so just if you want to know, I don't know. The, the spider sisters or anything like yeah. it again. Okay. You could see this again quite easily. No, I just don't want to talk about that whole scenario again. It's like sulfur docks, this. Where's Warwick? So how far are we going on this boat? I'm not in the mood for it. Why? Not the shits. It's a bit funny how I've got the shits and you haven't. You're not careful. But you haven't been getting into it, have you? You've been having deep pan pizzas every day. I wanted you to get ill. But why does that bother you so because much? Because then you can be part of the team. It's like the, the Red <laughs> Arse Gang. <laughs> <laughs> At least then, I don't know, you wouldn't annoy me as much. It's annoying me how you're not ill and you're not experiencing what everyone else is. So if I'm chucking up in the toilet with the shits, you'd come in and pat me on the back and say, great worry. Well, I, yeah, I have some connection with you. What the hell is wrong with So your with connection Carl? with me would be through my ass then. Exactly. There you go. I think oh, I think go. I think it was more a sharing misery kind of thing, but that's another way to see it, sure. Why Catch not? The boat, Carl. <laughs> I smell of piss in the air. Thank you very much. Great. Mind to step here, Carl. It's not even hooked on. Have you been on a cruise before? Nah. And I won't be again if they're all like this. <laughs> it's not good when the carpet's damp, though, is it? Okay, now the Titanic was brought up and it looked better than this. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's my room. Are you just helping me with my luggage? Oh, there's the toilet. Be... To be honest, that is useful for me, the way I'm at, at the moment. The toilet's got a shower door on it. That's well handy, the way it's spurting out of my arse. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh. And I know what's oh. happening here, because you've got this room, so what's mine like? Of course. A closet. <laughs> That's the stuff. All at the same time. There you go. That's a toilet. <laughs> Lou, don't use that one. We've got bad guts. I'm not doing this. I think sick they of it. Just messed sick up of it. the toilet. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <coughs> oh, God. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm glad I can't see that because I, I think I know what it work. was, but no. Not great. Hello. Warwick, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why you're getting special treatment. I haven't got my own toilet. Don't you? Someone's already been on my toilet. There's already something there, and we haven't even left dock yet. Well, what have you got, then? 
I haven't got anything. Just a, just a bed with about four, four or five other strangers. Are you sharing? Yes. Oh. It's just ah. annoying me the way that they, <laughs> we're not we're not having the same experiences. So let's go down the. It's just annoying me the way that they, we're not we're not having the same experiences. Oh. So let's go down the little corridor, and and share the same experience. Well, is it the same way you made me share the experience with the Spider Sisters? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then maybe this is uh, this sort of payback. Oh, well, let's. All right, forget it then. Forget it. You can have your room then. Don't forget get it. like that. No, Don't get all arsy. Stick it up your ass. No, I shouldn't have mentioned that. I didn't want to upset him. Both in this together, we should stick together. But that's not what he did that day. I suppose two wrongs don't make a right, does it? I should. No. <sighs> Is that the boat they're on? That's soothing. Okay. I've had the shits all day. The cabin that you've sorted out for me, I'm in there with the fucking grumble weeds. There's one toilet between about five of us. It's not funny. Listen though. to this. I mean it's He's just miserable. That's what I'm sharing with. It's not on, no. <laughs> it isn't on. We are the Grumble Weeds. <laughs> I've got an idea, Carl. I've got an idea. Maybe it'd be a good idea for you to share a room. Why don't you just sneak in, just get in bed and just have a little cuddle and get a good night's sleep. No, I'm not doing that with him in there. I won't sleep. <laughs> I think a nightmare is that. Oh. Did you get any sleep, Carl? Yeah, a few minutes, yeah. Oh, Did, have you seen Warwick? Did he sleep? Marco Polo must have been pissed off by this point. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's a place to visit in a submarine, this. This river. Look at it, it's polluted to hell and back, isn't it? I know yes, people moan is. at home, sort of saying, oh, all our industries are gone and factories are gone and people aren't making things at home. But they are here. I mean, everything you pick up is made in China, isn't it? And look what it does to the place. The factory's putting all this shit in the air. Let them keep it, honestly. We don't want this at home. It's depressing enough without having skies like this. You hear it all the time, don't you? You know, we don't do anything anymore. We don't make anything. It's all sort of coffee shops and paninis and charity shops, but at least we have blue skies. If you're going to be pissed off at home, be pissed off with a blue sky. Imagine being pissed off here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what was that? Sorry. Oh. All right. Hello? How's it going? How's the cruise? We, uh, we knocked that on the head. I like What's that Warwick doesn't want to answer. <laughs> like, he didn't even have a bad time. He was just chilling. How was the cruise? Uh, <laughs> never <How's> mind. <laughs> We, uh, we knocked that on the head. What do you mean? Yeah. Because it was horrible, honestly. It was misty, and, and the toilets right. were shocking. There was turds everywhere. Gillian McKeith, that's the only person who would have liked that little, uh, that little boat trip. <laughs> oh, God! This is going to be the best show ever. Is I'm it? I'm going to reward you. And your reward is to meet a giant panda. Mm. Cool. A real one. Right. Yeah, it's a great honor. No, a fake one. So, uh, wow, that's amazing. Thank that you very much. That is actually really cool. There you go. Thoughts, Carl? Your are they, are they dangerous at all? Oh. I've never known a panda to be <laughs> going mental because it's come face to face with a, a mank, bald twonk. So I think you're pretty safe. All right. Have you guys ever seen videos of pandas? They're the cutest things ever. And the, it doesn't matter if they're a baby or they're an adult. They are the clumsiest 
creatures like they're they're <laughs> if you ever see any picture or video of pandas first of all it's always chaos and second of all it, it they make it so clear as to why they almost got extinct they are so dumb <laughs> but adorable and dude i mean they just they eat veggies and bamboo i think you'll be fine hobie <laughs> That'd be I'm so excited cool. about this. What was the last thing that you saw a panda actually doing that you went, that's useful? useful? Well, I do know this, that their urine is collected by Sichuan tribal people, and if somebody swallowed a needle, they'd drink it, it would dissolve the needle. What, but that, what we're doing there is saving idiots. If they're eating needles, oh. that's nature's way of wiping them out. We're saving everyone now. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I have an issue with two things. First of all, he's always going on about the useful. Are you useful, Carl? What do you do that's useful? I, I think, sir, don't get me wrong. I think you're completely just totally useful. You brighten my days. I could be mad and watch one of these and be over the moon. I mean, your comedy is just, I love it. Your comedy hero, all great. But to in your own little mind, how are you useful? Or is it, you know, an explorer type thing? And second, um, what? <laughs> We're just saving stupid people. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm very curious as to know what Carl thinks of himself because clearly he thinks very highly of himself, which is fine. Good for him. That's, that's a good thing. You know, self-confidence and ego boost and all that. That's nice. Sure. <laughs> but just, um... <laughs> Okay. Well, I was just giving you a use for a panda. Yeah, but it's not good enough. Not good enough. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, Professor hello. Zhao? Yeah. Yes, I'm Warwick Davis. Hey, nice hello. Nice to meet you. I'm hello. Carl. Hi, nice to How are you doing? You all yeah, right? Good, yeah. Nice. So, this place is used for training the panda for reintroduction programs. What is it? It's the breeding. They teach breeding behavior. Yes. <laughs> I'm not wanking off a panda. Oh. They were serious. Look at this. Are they showing that we to the panda? We these videos to the pandas. Because in the captivity, some pandas have low mating experience. The bear makes the correct uh, noise. The female can accept him. Otherwise, they will affect each other. So it's like you're saying the right thing to the lady first at dinner. Have if they don't make the right noise, then she's no, no. Not interested. Have to woo her. You have different films for it to hear and watch, or is it the same scene? I don't know about that. I don't think that works, does it? And it's the same one, it's the same film over and over again, so you're going to get bored of that anyway. I've seen rude films. You can't watch them more than three times. You What else have you got? How many times do you watch them? Like? <laughs> well, the panda films. Wait, no, I... wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love how open he is about this. This is fabulous. I've seen rude films. You can't watch them more than three times. You What else have you got? How many times do you watch them? Like? Well, the panda films. I know I've never watched any other sort of. You've never watched any rude films? I've no, I, I haven't ever felt a need to actually, to be honest. No, it's not about need, is it? It's, it's, well, it's like how I wanted to see the Spider Women. It's just what, what's all that about? People watch these, what's going keeps on? Keeps going back oh, to I mean, them! Right? For research natural. purposes. Yeah, just have a look what goes on. Of course. Get some ideas. Research. Before you go okay. inside, so you had to wear <laughs> panda clothes. You said we've got to dress up. Yeah. Well, surely that's more dangerous, isn't it? If we look like a panda. Well, a researcher <coughs> goes inside. Yes. So where is this? So they were not bothered. They were a real panda. There have been a few bears in my time, but never a panda. Does this really convince them? Does it? I've heck? never seen a bear. It's bollocks, all this. It's just an excuse to dress us up. Got to try and get in the mind of the character now. Don't start. That's what work. it's all about. Don't start. You don't start. Just put your costume Don't on. just wear it like that. I'm going to put the hood on when I get in there. And get involved because otherwise it's going to look ridiculous. 
I've seen pandas on the telly with people near them. I've never seen Attenborough dressed up like this. I haven't either. But I'm just thinking, if something goes tits up, I can't see where I'm going. I'm hot. I'm going to trip over. It's just not safe. If it kicks off and I have to thump it in the head and I end up injuring it, again, I look like the bad man. Carl thumps endangered species in the head. But at the end of the day, if it comes at me, I will go at it. <laughs> talking about it as if it were, you know, vicious lion or a brown bear or something. I mean, <laughs> the homie's in the tree just minding his own business, Thumps waving at the camera. Thumps endangered species in the head. Look at the end him. Of the day, if it comes at me, <laughs> I will go at it. And I'm not being responsible for what happens. I have to kick it between the bollocks. Sure. That's what's going to happen. I will kick a panda in the bollocks if I have to. I believe you, Carl. Do we need to make any sound? What sound does a panda make? Because I probably am going to be a little baby one. The baby panda chirps. Chirps. How does that go? <laughs> what about mummy panda? What noise? Yeah, the mummy always uses the, the goat cry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's just go in. Let's go and have a look. Mm. You get in all the gear, you've got to have the sounds and the behaviour. We don't know anything about the bear. That panda never does that, for example. Carl, you can't stand on your two <laughs> legs. They never do that. <laughs> Carl, you can't stand on... I want that on a poster or a T-shirt or something. Look how cute that looks. <laughs> Or a mug. I don't know, something. I need that printed somewhere. That is just hilarious. Your two legs, they never do that. <laughs> Mother or nurse, the baby. The baby just crawl. So the, the mother's uh, teeth is there. He, he will be suckle. Use your mouth to go. My mouth. To go to... Where are you going to? I'm trying to suckle. Yeah, I'm letting it get here. Where is it? Where's then? your head? I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> Grab hold of that. Yeah. No wonder they're dying out if they're like you. <laughs> Let's face the it, he's just looking one. down, thinking, what, what's going on? Yes, she is. This looks like we've been doing the London Marathon and got lost. Is, is this honest, honest to God on your mum's life? Is this going to make it come towards us? Just stick with it, Carl, honestly. Just act real. Act naturally, <laughs> like a panda. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the leg up position. Carly's coming down. There you go. The scarf. We go out. Yeah. Carl, we got to go out. Why? It's coming down. Ooh. What have oh. we come here for? Where's the guy to go? That was a lot of effort, that, wasn't it? So just they are dangerous? Down. I just thought we were going to hug it or something. It's a long way to come just to see that. Oh. I thought... I totally thought it, the idea was to interact with them, not to, you know, simulate being a panda and a mama and a panda baby while a panda's nearby. Also, what I'm gathering is that they are dangerous. <laughs> uh, apparently. I mean, I know one can mess you up like that if it wanted to, but I, I've, I've never seen a panda want to. Okay. Hello. Just having a nice day. So no stress, having a wander about. Sunday here, so it's just good to see what normal people do. First restful day we've had. You go to the park much in London? Yeah, all the time. Love a good walk. Bit of people watching. What's this? A giant earbud, isn't it? What are they copying? Is it news headlines or something? It is news. It's like a really basic C fax. The word on the street. That's where the phrase comes from. I was just going to do my signature, I think. Let's do a little ad. Good, isn't it? There you go. That is good. Ah, amazing. Is it? It's, it's like him in the Ricky Dream. You see, the thing is, it's hard to be an explorer now, isn't it? Everything has been found. It's a piece of piss back then, with old Marco going where he wants and saying he's found new land. Look at that baby. Good God. You know what's really cool about that, though? Nuh-uh. Um, there's so many 
islands that have been discovered. I, I, I don't remember if it was Japan or where was it, but somewhere in that region. I think it was Japan. They just like discovered I, something like 3,000 new islands or whatever that they didn't even know they had. <laughs> so like, yeah, whole continents and massive pieces of land. Yeah, you're not gonna find anything new, but islands, there's so many that have never been charted or mapped or anything, so. And don't dream big, but yeah. You see the fat baby? No, oh, it's not overweight, it's just that they're chubby, it's just little puppy fat. You don't see many fat Chinese, do you? Because the, the food's not very nice. That boat is Are right, you gonna have something to eat with pizza? No, oh, quite fancy pizza. You gotta have something a bit weird, and I'll have it with you. He We've wants got cold him pork lung. to Pig get it. diarrhea. <laughs> Carl's on a mission. This isn't that bad, to be fair. It's only the rabbit head that looks a bit shit. If you get rid of the teeth, he'd think that was a pork chop. Warwick, this isn't that bad. No, they haven't like got that. anything weird. I thought they'd have well weirder stuff. I mean, that doesn't look normal. It smells of licorice, that one. It's like olives. No, eat one of them. Just rub it in, honestly. It's not that bad. Can I nibble the edge of it? Nah. It's worse. Just shove it in. It's worse. Don't tell me what it is. That's a lamb bollock. What's wrong with eating a, a little sheep bollock? Really? <laughs> Are they there just because he's small? What's wrong with eating a, a Or because they're about to vomit custom foods? I believe they're there because he's small. Or is it because they're there with a freaking camera crew? Like, I mean, <laughs> these people just try to go everywhere casually with a whole cra camera crew, and like, yeah, people are gonna stare. What's going on? Cheap bollock, really? But, okay. <coughs> Stop fetching test. They're filming him and taking pictures. Right now, I don't know how you eat one of these. I think you just pick it with your hand and have a chunk. That's like stone. That's solid. Oh fucking hell, it's a head. Just, just have a bite of that. No. I'm not eating it now. No, no, it's a head. Oh, oh. Bloody hell. Oh. Right. I don't want to ruin right, Just have a bite of his face. Stop pushing it to me! Ah! Go on, just have a bite, bite into it. No, why would you? No, 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 Oh, no. fucking hell. Oh, you let me down. Oh, Honestly, you let me down. Let me down. Oh, forget it, forget it. You stupid. Ain't fucking I don't want to be part of fucking game. Can don't throw chicken. bollocks at me like that either. Ridiculous. I got a job. He even tried. Against his will, several times. I don't understand how anybody could eat a face. Of anything. No. Ooh. To do, I didn't want to go down with illness. No, but that's part of it, I think. You're doing travel, and then whatever you do, if that happens, that's part of the story. Right. Honestly, there's, there's people here who would watch Attenborough and think it's a cooking program. Yeah, look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's he shoving in? It's like a little blade. Oh, yeah. That's nice, that. Why, why that did they nice. film nice that? <laughs> yeah. how, far he, how far he can go. Why on earth did they film that and then edit it in? <laughs> like, oh, look, Carl's getting his holes cleaned. Warwick is getting his hole cleaned. Oh, and this little girl is cleaning her own hole. <laughs> Go with it. Tickling. Oh my God! Jesus, Warwick. You had that in your ear. It's I didn't have that much. Well, no wonder you haven't like shit yourself since you've been here. You just be all your orifices is blocked up with wax. Good Jesus! <laughs> it's disgusting, actually. Okay. It is. You should do your ears, you dirty little but it's, shit. It's deep in the ears. Could what? actually make like a little Madame Two Swords modeler, Warwick, with the amount of wax that's come out of his head. <laughs> Funny little fella, isn't he? Imagine him as a removal man. Yeah. Pissing about. Let's get him in the van. Wow. 
That was gross. Really gross. <laughs> On our way to see uh, a Buddhist temple, which is something I really wanted to see in China, but my sinuses are really, really hurting. And, uh, but you so just... yeah, I don't feel so great, to be honest. Didn't you just get all cleaned out? <laughs> when your sinuses hurt, that sucks, by the way. I've done a few mountains and that, you know, hurts your head. But he's hurting his head before he even started. So, should we knock it on the head? Just that you're never going to get this opportunity again. That's what I'm disappointed. Yeah, but about. if the memory of it is going, Ed, what's the point? No, I, well, I want to do it. I want to have a go at it, but I don't True. know. Well, you, should we just start walking and just have a go? All right, let's let's just start walking. Start Give walking. It. There we go. If he manages to do it on his own two feet, he's going to feel a lot better than, you know, if he's if he's sat in this. It's like going up there on a, you know, a chairlift, isn't it? So what do you know about Buddhism? Dalai Lama bloke. He's sort of happy, stress-free fella, but he's not living a normal life, is he? If we all did what he did, how would anything get done? He sits around coming up with thoughts, but he's got a bloke to empty his bins, to wash the pots, to do his food. If we all did that, We'd still be living in more dots. Sure. Oh, gosh. oh man. Work is not having a good time. Are you all right yet? No. I'm tired. I'm slightly worried about getting in them. I don't know how they're going to... How can they carry someone up these steps? That's what they do, though. It's a little chair, isn't it? They're made for it. If you're getting in now, it's a little bit of a give up early. You all right? I don't want to be seen to giving up. They're made for it, made it sound like the guys were made to carry him up or anybody up. Just the phrasing of that was just. I know what he meant. I, I know what he meant. I don't we're good. Be... <sighs> he's not cut out for it. He's not cut out for this. I keep looking behind and he's dropped behind. He's slowing me down. I want to move on. All right, I'm stopping for a bit. All right. I mean, this is hard anyway, but with this, it's like, it's twice as hard. Yep. Susanna always has a moan at me. When she's ill, I'm rubbish around her. Can't you nip to the supermarket instead and all that? I'm just not good around ill people. I'm You're not, not good around, around any people. people. <laughs> oh. What do you say, sorry? People. How much further is it, do you know? Well, I think we're no. not, even, not even quarter of the way. I'm not, gonna make it. not even a quarter. It's okay to not get to the top, worry. No, it's not okay. <laughs> yeah, it is okay. Just knock it on the head. It's not a Buddhist. So why is it so important? You come so far through a journey, and the kind of the what we've been through and stuff. It's I always managed to keep going, and then he's his own man. If he wants to give up, he can. There's no prize here. We're not going to win something. There's not a caravan up for grabs if we make it to the top. It's just a walk and a temple. No, it's better just to give up. Done. That's what I could do, and that's it. Or to jump in there and. Carl, oh. you giving up? You're knocking it on the head. My head's not up to it today. Why is he? I want to. I want to go up and see it. You knew your limits down there. I said if you don't want to go, don't do it. And now we're halfway up. But I do want to go. They're That's the thing. Up. It's like dragging around a hen with a vac. You know that thing you walk in, it gets caught under a chair and you've got to walk back and unblock un un it. That's what it's been like with your big smiling face. I think this is I'm more of an ego issue. Definitely. It's too easy to say I've got That's a headache nice. or my legs or. It is easy if you haven't got a headache. Carl, in my career, I've put up with all sorts of stuff. The stuff I endure in, in costumes and stuff, it's, it's oh, hard. But this makes a mockery. This makes a mockery of the whole Star Wars thing. Anyway, you're in the universe. I didn't see you up there going, I've got my sinuses. 
Well, that's why he sounded like that. All his nose is blocked. <laughs> Land. I need a fix. <laughs> Uh, what? No, no I, I can't. I don't think I'll get all the way. Sometimes, Carl, you see, I don't think you see what others see, you know? You were up there having a go at Warwick. Warwick's down below actually having a little tear on. I mean... You didn't cry, did you, on camera? Hang on, I didn't mean to. It's just... Oh, uh, here we go. I hate that. I feel like doing it just to annoy exactly. him Exactly. That's exactly how I work. That's how, how I do it with Suzanne. You never wash up a do, you don't. Then she does it. It's the same thing, being pushed. So what I want to say to you is, get off your ass and get walking. Let's keep going. We can do it. Ugh. She's going to kill him. I absolutely love the contrast of when it's just Carl, he's the one that's mining, moaning and crying and whining and all those things. And now that he has Warwick there, that's taking that place because he doesn't feel well he just genuinely doesn't feel well <laughs> and it's you know a lot for him at the moment um he's the one like yeah no we gotta go we gotta keep going <laughs> like dude what it's just I, he he takes so much joy in warwick's misery it's so messed up He's I feel like he's literally just pushing to keep going forward just because he knows how much it's taken a toll on Horik. What the hell? And the food thing, too. I feel like he was just trying to get him sick. So, <laughs> Carl is quite the asshat in this episode. Oh, bloody hell. <coughs> oh, Jesus. More with Warwick, at least. <laughs> Poor fellas. Yes. Now, if we do make it up, he can't say he walked all the way. This is part of the experience as well, isn't it? Oh, it is now, is it? It wasn't a minute ago. No, but I, I thought, you know, travel. That's what it's all about. <laughs> what? Pilkington lose the goalposts once again. <laughs> He is like having a little kid with me, because of his height, and he likes toffees and he likes pizza. I feel like his dad. And Who that's what I was like acting like when I was coming pizza? up the hill. Like, come on, son. And that's how I would have said, if I've got a son, that's how I would have spoke to him. Get off your ass and get up here. Wow. Oh, Jesus, there's more stairs. I tell you what, you can't be a Buddhist in a wheelchair. I don't think he realises what he's saying sometimes. Yeah, dragging a Henry vacuum behind me and having to stop and empty it now and again. I mean, how offensive can you be? But it was what I needed. I gave him the kick to do it. And sometimes that's what you need, isn't it? You need someone, you need a good leader. I was like a, I was like Winston Churchill or something like that. Hey. Seven. He said, Six. when you're going through hell, keep going. That's what Through I that. did down there. there I, was, I was Winston Churchill. Oh, give me that shit. Keep going. Three, Three one, two, oh. hang on. One. That's it. Yes! They made it! I actually Here thought they were going to give up. <laughs> that's amazing. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> impressive, that. Absolutely, yeah. You see, what annoys me, though, Warwick, right? You didn't like seeing the woman with two heads. Suddenly, you're happy with that. She's got six. <laughs> Were you really crying before, or was that just messing about? No, I was. Why? I don't know, I think it's something to do with being short. It's harder to be defeated. Do you know what I mean? They'll make it look like an X-Factor moment. You'll be loving that, won't you? They'll have Coldplay under that. <laughs> will a little man do it? <laughs> <laughs> telling you. And everyone will be like that. <laughs> Come on. Old play. It's interesting to see them it has brought us actually together. get along. The one bad thing to come out of this, he's got a disabled badge for his car. He's going to get that taken off him. Because you can't be climbing stuff like this and then getting home going, I need to park in, and that, that's well gone. <laughs> I haven't told him. <laughs> Hi, Warwick. Um, oh, I have a man. thought. How about we go one better than Marco Polo? He turned around in China and went home. I was thinking you and Carl could carry on 
a bit further and go on to Macau. I've booked you rooms at a lovely hotel called the Venetian. So you should feel at home there, right? That's pretty. Um, like and that. it's a lovely treat on your last night together. I've got you a table at a restaurant at the top of the Macau Tower. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful, stunning views. So, um, yeah, I'll speak to you later. All right, cheers, bye. I don't like getting dressed up, especially not to have a meal. If I'm having a Sunday dinner at home, I normally sit there with now on top, take my T-shirt off and everything, because you drop a bit of chicken in gravy. Gravy's got grease in it, it doesn't come out. Sit there bare-chested on the table. Covered in grease enjoy it. chicken? You don't have to what? be dressed up. I'll pop a T-shirt back on when it's time for pudding. It's going to be all right, oh, this. Oh, pudding doesn't Ricky sorted spill. everything out. It's going to be a lovely evening. It's, it's really nice that you set this up. Oh, they look to nice. To celebrate the end of the journey. And then, um, in true Ricky style, he's, uh, he's thrown a bit of spanner in the works for me. Mm. Got a text from him. Right. We're not just going up there to look at the view. He right. wants Carl to do a skydive. <sighs> Again? Far from it. Why do this when we've invented buttons? Fannying about. What Ricky Spacey said about tonight is, don't let me down. It's in your hands to get him to do this. I don't want the show to finish on a damp squib. You know, we've got to end with a big finish. No. Everyone wants to see him jump. See, okay. That, that line, everyone wants to see him jump. Yes, but I want to see him jump on his own terms if he wants to. I don't want to see him pushed if he's going to be crying and doesn't want to. I mean, like when it was the tower thing and he leapt himself from like two feet high, that was freaking hilarious, but because he decided to do it. <laughs> and he decided to do it that way. But seeing him just be completely miserable and doing it that me personally obviously there are people that would enjoy that but me personally no nah. like okay the plane thing was funny he hated every second of it apparently but dude he got up and walked up on it and stood up on it which was really cool i wasn't expecting that and um that was like enough but and it, again, it was entertaining because he was swearing the whole time. But still, he kind of sort of decided. But skydiving was a firm no and bungee jumping several times. So, I don't know, man. The good life. You're going to have a pudding. And I like how Warwick yeah. knows and he doesn't know. <laughs> He's playing, of course. I actually like to see a plate of food. I know it's for me. And it's my job to eat what's on that plate. But the way they keep sort of bringing out dishes and noodles and then some dim sum and a dumpling. But yeah, it's just like a load of starters, isn't it? It's gonna be nice. He looks terrified! <laughs> Wait, does Warren have to jump too? Because he looks so stressed. I thought it was Warren's task to get Carl to jump, but he looks terrified. Okay. I like, I like, I like when people dress up. Um, I work at a theater and every once in a while some people or couples or just anybody randomly comes very dressed up and I just love it. I don't know why I like when people because you know when you dress good you feel good and, and I like that and I like I like seeing people do that. It's just cool and they look awesome. <laughs> that way. I've seen you dressed up. I don't know. Just for something to eat, just seems a bit over the top to me. Restaurants at the top there, yep. <clears throat> Welcome to the Cow Tower. We hope Hi. you will enjoy your visit to this 338-meter iconic landmark. I, um, I got a text from Ricky earlier. Oh, no. Hoping we had a nice time. They do other stuff here, as well as food. You can, um, you can do sort of extreme Sort of sport. Bungee jumping. Funny. No, no, it's not bungee jumping. It's it worse. Is, though, isn't it? No, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. I'm not, I, I don't do extreme stuff, Warwick. Hello there. Hello. I'm Warwick. Hi Warwick. there. Tony O'Rourke, how are you? Hello, Tony. It's Hi, Tony. Tony. Yeah, good. good. Welcome to Cow Town. We have various activities. We have our. Uh, there isn't a restaurant, walk, is there? Which is walking the outer rim. We have our sky jump. We have our world's highest bungee jump. 
So yeah. you know what bungee jumping is, yeah? Yeah. I've been World's highest? That sounds so scary. I I will Google that later to see how how wait 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 how high is world's highest? That sounds terrifying. Give me a second. World's highest bungee. Okay, interesting because times have changed. Now it says just you know the Google fill in thing says South Africa and then Nepal, but <clears throat> I don't want I don't care where it is. I want to know how high it is. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm bad at Googling. Okay, wait. Let's just go to the specifics. How high? I, I gotta read <laughs> articles about it. Okay, there we go. Um, 150 meters is like one of the top 10 highest. Holy. Dude. That's insane. I wouldn't do that. Hell no. Hundred. Oh snap! I don't know which one. Two hundred twenty meters. Macau Tower. Tower. That's where they are, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two hundred thirty-three meters. Oh, jeez. And then they. Wow. Okay. Nope. 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 In face with it, and I'm not doing it. Sky jump is actually designed for those people who could never do a bunch of jump. Go outside and have a look. Yeah, I'm happy yes. to go outside okay. and have a look. It's just that I'm not okay. going to jump. As you can see, everything is double. We attach the two attachments to your harness, and then what we do is we slowly, ever so slowly, just lower to the ground. It's actually a controlled, what we call a controlled descent. Right. It's just a gentle ride. That is oh, interesting. Come here, come here, come here. I may so like that. May. Depends on the safety like, measures. <laughs> you remember the mountain the other day? Yeah. Right. I didn't want to do it. I couldn't do it. No, yeah. I didn't want to. And you motivated me to do it. Yes. And that's and, that, and, and I'm glad I did. And the food thing, and you were going to eat it, and I would never have gone anywhere near a testicle. But I did because <laughs> you were going to have it. <laughs> Why don't you do it? <laughs> this is about you conquering something. What a choice of words. <laughs> what was the other things that you said you can do? The skywalk, which is just walking the perimeter of the tower. Yeah, that's a double. That's, that's easy, walking down that. Okay, work does it too. Interesting. Whoa. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I'm not even scared of I'll heights. You look straight down. I'm not scared of heights at all. I'm, I'm scared of the safety measures not being up to par or whatever. <laughs> um... I, I wouldn't put my trust in a rope and one of those little bungee hook things. No. Yeah. Your brain's telling you this can't be real. You wouldn't be this stupid. Surely. Are they supposed to walk? I don't want walk? any more of a, a rush than that. I can understand the view, but jumping off, I really don't know what it's about. Should we go for a wander? The feeling? It's pathetic, though, isn't it? What? Oh. What, the fact that you won't do the old skydive? No, 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 just that, that Ricky keeps going on about this. But I don't want to do one, and he can't make me, and he wouldn't do one. It's not as if he's been jumping off buildings. I've never seen him do anything with a slight bit of danger. Important. There's just nothing in me that makes me want to jump off there. Sometimes that's what annoys me with films. It's always a happy ending. Life isn't like that. People don't always get what they want. My favourite films are Elephant Man, who ends up killing himself because he's sick of having that head. Yeah. And Kez, when his Kestrel gets killed by his brother. I don't like happy endings. Can you sit down? I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but one of my favourite all-time movie endings... All-time? Is not so much the movie, but the ending. Oh, one of my favourites. The ending to The Mist. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen it, 
Oh, prepare yourself. I'm on the edge. I can't get any nearer the edge because I've got ten. Where's your knees? Have you got knees? <laughs> yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> We've done this whole thing together. Epic journey, put up with all sorts of stuff. Yeah. You know, shouted, hated each other. The cameraman is doing this too. Because the cameraman is right there up next to them. Dude, cameramen need more props. Just, they are amazing, amazing people that put themselves in amazing situations just for the shot. <laughs> Good for him. Each other. Good Got on each him. other. We should do the last thing together. I'll do it if you do it. Well, I'm not going to be doing it. It so. can't be that hard. Look at me now. I'm hanging over here. I'm yeah, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. You could do it. Right, help me up. Have you ever had a dwarf appear before to do this? No. So this is a world record then. Check. Okay, just turn to you, man. Rear and test. You're stressing me out. Check. You're going to feel yourself lifting off. No, no so way. Good. Warwick, that is mental. Bloody hell! Ah. Oh, good night. I just looked out there. Warwick, are you sure? Oh, fucking hell. Stay there. I'm here. No, no Do way. It. No, look at me. They you got to do it. They got in tuxedos for this. You ready? It's all of you. Spin around again. <laughs> We're going to be fine. Let's just do this. We're going to do it, okay, Warwick? Sky jump in five seconds. Four. No, don't no. say you don't count down like that. Fuck. Oh, Good my Lord. fuck, Dad. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my oh, no, God. Oh, no, poor thing. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. No, I don't want to look. Oh, I do not want to look. Brother. That was way too oh. fast. <laughs> fuck it up. He likes it. There you go. This is amazing. Oh, there yes. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, this looks super That's safe, amazing. by the oh, way. Jesus. Super controlled. So and good. They got nice oh, stuff. All right, I like that's that. That's amazing. I want to do it again. That is so good. Hello. Hello, Ricky. It's Warwick. We're at the top of the Sky Tower in Macau, and I just jumped off it. Did you really? Yeah. Well done, man. Yeah, I did it. It felt great, and Carl nearly did it. Yeah, I, I just sort of uh, walked around the edge of it. Well high up. Ah, oh, that's so funny, isn't it? Because well I was worried that you wouldn't be able to do physical things, and now you've made it look like a like a little jellyfish, like a little cowardly prat. Yeah. Well, you weren't trying yeah. to make Carl look like a little no. cowardly little baba. You weren't. You weren't trying to make him look like a prat. Chicken. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it, it wasn't a new thing, but I recently saw an interview. I think it was maybe on the, no, it was, with, I don't know, one of those talk shows where Leonardo DiCaprio was talking about one time where he went skydiving and both parachutes failed and he almost died <laughs> and he did not like the experience. So, you know, there is that. I mean, it's scary, but that looked like, if it looked like a lot of things had to go wrong for there to be a serious injury and accident. And even with everything going wrong, you wouldn't die. You'd just break like a bunch of bones. But <laughs> those men just fine. <laughs> so I, I would probably almost maybe think I could pro consider that. <laughs> Someday a there you time go. for us. Time together with time to spare. Time to learn. Time to care. Someday, wow. somewhere, we'll oh. find a new way of living. Uh. We'll find a way oh. of forgiving. <laughs> Work was a real da daredevil in all of this, wasn't he? That was interesting. Was that last bit for the tear? Um, anyway, this was a very interesting clash of personalities and, and egos because I've read so many comments about saying Carl was horrible in this season. And then I read a lot of comments saying Warwick was awful. <laughs> but it was both of them. They both had horrible moments. <laughs> um... And just, like, ego issues and stuff. Both tried to, like, pressure the other one into doing things they didn't want to do. And it's just... just... <laughs> I don't think they, they hang out much after this. But I did like the moment. Like, the little moments they just showed at the end where they actually did get together. Uh, got along together. That Those were nice. So there you go. Um... I gotta watch the deleted scenes, but that was very entertaining. It, weird, very weird, the comparison of season three to the other seasons before, and also very weird, episode one is very different from two and three. <laughs> they just kind of went, like, they didn't have an official plan. They just kind of said, oh, just go run around, you know, these places and, you know, bicker all the time and banter each other and it'll be fine <laughs> weird stuff but very 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 fun and oh it's over damn all right so what you gonna do these things then <laughs> um but yeah one of my absolute favorite things i've ever seen these were amazing personally okay I, I don't think i've laughed as hard at anything as him on the jetpack in the first episode of season three but um some of the episodes in se season two were just so good so good that thing where he jumped off the top the dive tower that was just moments like that were just freaking brilliant so oh anyway <laughs> well guys you know what no pressure today no have a fabulous day have the day you want because sometimes you know if you're having a great day awesome good for you and um but i don't want to put pressure on anyone to have an amazing time just sometimes days are just meh and there's nothing wrong with that and sometimes days are just kind of not great and you know 
Just gotta go through them and go through the emotions and stuff. I did not. Oh, I did catch it! <laughs> uh, anyway, so have the day you, you, you want to have. I guess. That works, right? There you go. Have the day you want to have. So, because sometimes, you know, the day just calls for nothingness and meh and just chilling. And uh, it's not going to be the best day of your life. But that doesn't mean it has to be a bad day. It can just be meh. And that's fine. So there you go. Anyway, thank you guys for whoever got me into this show. I don't even remember now. It's been a while. But whoever started recommending this and got me into this. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. And I really appreciate it. So, guys, deleted scenes coming soon. And um, thank you very much for going on this an idiot abroad journey with me. I think this is like the first show I've actually completed. Wow. <laughs> I think it is. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I am off because if not, I just I won't shut up. So yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.